looking for love in all the wrong places looking for love absolutely you guessed it that's what we're going to be talking about looking for love but open up yeah and sing proper mm. Ah, yes. Oh, ah, l'amour. We're going to get warm and fuzzy with you for a warm moment. Warm and fuzzy with you. Oh. We're talking today about one of the seven ups of happiness. Open up. But specifically... It's like Antonio Banderas. Well, you just, you know, when you start to talk about love, it's like you feel like a Latin lover. Of course, standing next to you does tend to quell yeah, it does. the instinct to be all yeah. you-know-whatever. Well, Not that there's anything wrong with you. I'm just no, saying, no, for me personally, I'm sure if Brittany were here... Yeah, my wife. She probably would be like, Jeff, you know... No, she'd be so I feel most thought about, because she's from Germany. She's German. So, Frau, anyway. Frau, Frau, Frau Brittany. Frau. What are we talking about? We're talking about love. Yeah. If you want to be happy, and this is what this whole series of videos is about, uh, is being happy. Ways to be happy, happier. Because you may be happy already, and you're just looking for greater happiness. One thing that may be lacking is that you do not open your heart enough. Mm -hmm. And specifically, a great source of happiness, and I know this is going to seem like a big duh, is love. There was a, a, a study done, a 75-year Harvard study called the Grant Study, named after the guy who started it. Hugh Grant. Uh, Hugh. Yeah. Or Harvey. He knows a little bit about Horace, love. maybe, one yeah. of the Grant brothers from uh -huh. uh, basketball. Anyway, yeah. and basically, after 75 years of following all these people and all of their relationships and ins and outs, the three-word result that I'm sure is now going to show up on the screen is <laughs> happiness is love. That was happiness is, is love. Yes. <laughs> agree or disagree? No, I and agree. And why? I agree. The reason why I agree is because I've never been happier in my life when I've had someone else in it that I can share my love with. Now, here's the thing. I've thought about this. You know, I want to be more loved. Well, if you want to be more loved, then in my experience... You got to give more love. Yes. What was that John Lennon lyric? You know, the love you give is equal to the love you make. Love you love make. You so, something like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but here, here's, for example, specifically, sometimes I'll be driving home from work. I'll drive by Harmon's Grocery Store uh -oh. and I'll pick up some flowers for my Where's wife. Where's this going? Oh, oh, on, oh okay. on May the 9th. Now, there's nothing in particular about that. Well, Mother's it's Day would be pretty close, close to that. Close to it. Right, but yeah, that's right, but a that's, random day. Yeah, it's just for no reason at all, I'll show up and I'll give her flowers. And because there's not a reason to, yeah. a, an official reason, it makes such a huge difference. So you got to give if you want to receive and if you want to feel it. But and you know, you, you, when you're giving, you just feel a lot better anyway. I don't know that has hit you deeply. Oh, I love, I love where you're at. I'm just giving it a second so I can look down. <laughs> so, there is, of course, a, a, a fine line of delineation, which oh, is somewhat redundant. Very fine. Be, betwe between <laughs> infatuation and actual romantic love. Digo yo. Yeah. So, the infatuation phase is that initial part that attracts you to the other person. Mm -hmm. And it's exciting. Mm -hmm. And it's heart palpitating. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 it's part of the sort of the hunt for the guys and the... Well, I guess the women are hunting, too. Yeah. It's not like they're victims here or anything. Yeah. I just wait for the men to come find me. No. It's, it's, a, it's a cat and mouse game. Sure. And part of that infatuation phase is just so exciting. You can't wait to hear her voice. You can't wait for him to call. All of those things that happen. When, real love, ultimately, though, it settles in. Yeah. And it's kind of like what Jeff was saying, where it's, it doesn't, it's not just happening spontaneously. You're looking for ways to serve and love in a verb way mm -hmm. that person. Yeah. And that's what creates really the lasting happiness that love is. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll talk about other ways that happiness is love and love is happiness in other episodes. Specifically, we're just talking about, you know, non-platonic, non-familial, but pure, freaking, romantic love. Yeah. And it doesn't matter your lifestyle choice or blah, blah, bluey. If you find someone that you are romantically drawn to and attracted to and you want to be with, that is going to be a pretty basic source of felicity and, and joy. Hopefully yeah. that will last for a long oh, time. I'm, just, I'm going back here in my mind the first time I kissed a girl. So now we're talking the infatuation oh, yeah, phase, yeah. right? This is the initial attraction. I mean, you who, lost me when you started. I, I haven't been thinking about anything else. But uh, Who was it? I was 14 years old. Huh? 
uh, a girl named Mindy. Are you sure you were yeah. 14? Oh, yeah, I'm positive okay. I, was, I was 14. I thought you were older for no, some reason. That, no, this, this was just the little pecky stuff, but I, I was a little older when, anyway. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I remember, yeah. <laughs> what, was it, what was the circumstance, the, well, the pecky? Yeah, me, me and my best friend, we were, we were in this girl's basement, and we were, it was Christmas time, whatever. We gave her a couple of gifts, and she gave Recipe us a kiss. Recipe for disaster. Yeah, yeah, she gave us a kiss. It was just, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it was two kisses. Was it right on the mouth, flush on the? Yeah, yeah. On it the was, kisser? Uh, lippy lippy. Yeah, you got to yeah. love that. I think my first kiss, uh, real kind of kiss like that, was probably around the same age. And it was, you know, the games of truth or dare, spin the bottle, who do you yeah. want to kiss, that sort of a thing. And then all my older brothers and sisters would kiss people on square on the mouth uh, on New Year's Eve, you know, the, the countdown. And then oh, there's, yeah. right. And I met a girl, Leanne de Spain, at the time was her name. And mm -hmm. uh, she was in eighth grade and I was in 10th, but I was only a year older. So it wasn't like weird, oh, yeah. you know. And we kissed at midnight on uh, midnight, 1981, the New Year's Eve switched over. And uh, clouds parted. Oh, yeah. Music yeah. was playing. Yeah. And, and her, I mean, it was my first kiss uh, and it was my first French kiss. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who so who knew? Message, <laughs> who knew? I didn't. Now, I'd, did you, I'd heard. Yeah, you you went in with I that intention. No, that oh, no. No, this said, was all Leanne. And if she's okay, watching this, okay. she knows. Yeah. The, the girl, yeah, she she definitely had kissed before. I hadn't. All right. So, you know, sometimes, you know, you just got to go find someone to kiss. Yeah. And that's part of happiness. There's a lot sure. of joy in that, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. And those first crushes. Top three. Oh. To close this episode, top three. Got to have it. You want to be happy. Walk down memory lane. Our apologies to our wives and partners and others. Okay. Top three crushes in your life at any phase. Okay. So number three for me, and a lot of you are not even going to recognize this name. Well, of course you're not. Our age, Donna Reed. Donna. She was an actress. Reed. Yes, an actress. The most famous movie she was in with <laughs> Jimmy Stewart. Uh, what was it? Rear the Window. Christmas? No, the Christmas oh. movie. Oh, a, 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 a life. The life so you know, wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful life. life. Yeah. Yeah, but she was in a couple of other movies that she looked even better than she did in that movie. Oh, but I just, I, she she was just perfect. I yeah. Just, I just, you know, and again, the first time I saw that movie, I was, again, 14, 15, yeah. 16, and I thought, what an angel. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, I would, th I would throw into that mix then, and I hadn't thought of this before, but if I'm, you know, if I'm laughing at you, you can laugh at me, but... Vivian Lee, when I saw oh, Gone yeah. with the Wind, yeah. you know, as a five or six-year-old, uh -huh. you know, it was playing again in the theaters 30 years later. Yeah. And, you know, this three or four hour epic movie. And I could not, not think about Vivian Lee. And, you know, yeah. we were, I was a little boy. My son's at six years old, never thought about girls. I, yeah, was, I was early, too. Yeah, I, I thought was... Vivian Lee was the living end. Yeah. Yeah. My official number three uh, is Jackie Yalden. So yeah. you're going school now. I'm just saying, okay. yeah, I'm just, okay. I, I, that's why I'm going to do it quick. Jackie Alden, Jeff yeah. knows who it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the staring across the cafeteria every yeah. day at school. She was oh, a year older. Man. I thought she was the prettiest thing I'd ever seen. And we made eyes all year. And then finally, at the end of the year, she wrote in my yearbook, you know, you sure flirted with me with your eyes a lot. Why did you never ask me out? And then she, gra oh. she graduated. Yeah. And then I asked her out in the summer, and she already had a boyfriend. Uh, okay, number two for you. See, and that whole class, by the way, right? The Chock full Krista of... Krista Hoyle, yeah. Colleen Kirk, that whole... They, they were all on the uh, You don't know who these people no, are. No, this yeah. is just for it's us. Just cute girls. Anyway, it's number two important. for me, Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer in uh, Tequila Sunrise with Kirk. Uh, is it Mr. R-rated over here. Oh, I, I don't know the on. movies you're watching. I'm oh, a good man. She, she, yeah, uh, the fabulous Baker Boys. Those again. Movies. She's. Uh, what about that one where she was a uh, 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 with Matthew Broderick? Oh, which is of Eastwick? No. Uh, uh, Flying Dove Girl, Wingle Eagle Wing, I don't know what he's talking Feather about. Featherwood. Oh yeah, when Alan Parsons did the music for it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what is that? Just go with this here, folks. <laughs> Matthew Broderick and yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer yeah. and the Eagle something. Hawk. Ka -ka -ka! Something Hawk. Lady Hawk. Lady Hawk. <laughs> there you go. My number two <laughs> is uh, Heather Paulson. Oh, man. Oh, got another local. Oh, we'll just gosh. move right on. But yeah. that, she, that was less of a crush and more of just just complete lust. That was, yeah. And that's not always that's good. not good. Especially if you've got millions of viewers watching. Uh, Which you so, don't. No. I don't know what Heather looks like today, but in seventh grade. No. She, yeah. Anyway, number one for me, Jane Seymour. Oh, look at you. Jane Seymour. Wow. That was by far the number one crush. If you have never seen the movie with Christopher, uh, you know, Superman, Christopher Reeve, what was it? 
you know, oh, oh somewhere, somewhere in time, in time. Oh, yeah the penny Richard. yeah you know oh she just gorgeous she was Absolutely pretty and oh gorgeous. you're right i forgot about yeah. that okay my number one is uh well and this is again it was i was i was under under time was, <laughs> no 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 i was pressed for time <laughs> rosamond pike so there you have it. Idea. Well, look her up, or maybe we'll throw okay. her image up on the screen. I will. She's that British actress with sort of, you know, like British teeth. Yeah. But blonde hair and bright blue eyes. And hey, what, has she been in movies? Of course she's been in movies. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, anyone that speaks with a British accent. No, but she's just sort of, she's just sort of unexpectedly pretty. Yeah. And she's sort of tall and, and, and oh, she was in the, 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 the Reacher movie with uh, Tom Cruise. Oh, she, okay. you know she's I the attorney you. who put you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but she's and she was in a Johnny English one, and yeah, she's been yeah, in tons yeah. of movies. Oh, she's, okay. I, yeah. she just she kind of did it for me, sure, in a very appropriate way, crush wise. Okay, all right. So there's my there top three crushes. Who are yours? See, crushes. this if well, you want to be happy, you know, have a conversation like this. Yeah. If you don't have someone that you love in your life, at least start dreaming about people yeah. that you like to have in your life. Figure out your type. And then go find it. And by the way, might I suggest this in closing? When you're looking for someone that you want to love and be with in this way, that you want to open up to, um, it might be necessary to initially begin with the digital realm and seeing and flipping and swiping and all of that. But for heaven's sakes, find ways to get out. Get out and about. Yeah. Yeah. Get out to dinner. Get out to dancing. Try to find where people actually are, where they live and breathe, and connect that way. Okay. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. If you want to be happy, open up. Well, thanks for joining us over these last 12 minutes. I know it didn't seem that long. At least it didn't to us. Whizzed by. Time flies when you're being totally entertained. Tell a friend. Click the little thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And uh, thanks for joining us. <laughs>